Hello, I'm Audrey. Welcome to Getting Started with Canvas for Students. Canvas is a web-based application that allows you to access class materials, complete coursework, interact with your instructor, and get to know your peers. In this overview, I will talk about several commonly used Canvas features. All the information in this video is published in good faith and for general information purposes only. Canvas updates often. As a result, some features shown in this video may look different from what you see in your courses today. The Canvas Student Guide will have the most up-to-date information available. Logging in. Let's get started with how to log into Canvas. First, open your web browser. I suggest using the most recent version of Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome. For this demonstration, I'm using Google Chrome. Navigate to the TW website. In the browser's address bar, type twu.edu. Next, hover your mouse over Academics and click on the My Courses link. Click the Log into Canvas button. If a login screen opens in a new browser window and your TW Google username is an option, select your TW Google username. Enter your TW password, then click Next. If your TW Google username is not an option, in the browser's address bar, type mail.google.com and click Enter. On the top right, select your profile image or initial. On the menu, choose Add Account. Follow the instructions to sign into your TW Google Mail account with your TW Google username and TW password. If you have any problems trying to log into Canvas, contact the TW Service Desk at 940-898-3971. Understand the dashboard. The dashboard is the first thing you will see when you log into Canvas. The dashboard helps you see what is happening in all your current courses. You can return to your user dashboard at any time by clicking the dashboard link on the global navigation menu. Global navigation is the maroon bar on the far left side of the screen. Your courses are represented by different boxes called course cards. To enter a course, just click on the course card. Courses you are registered for may not be immediately available because it takes up to six hours for the TW Registrar System to synchronize with Canvas enrollments, or because your instructor has not made the course available by publishing it. If you need to request course information before your course is available in Canvas, email the instructor using the contact information available on the course listing in Student Planning. You can find Student Planning by logging into the Pioneer Portal. The dashboard defaults to the course card view, which displays course cards for all your favorite courses. Control which courses appear on the dashboard by opening the courses menu in Global Navigation and clicking the All Courses link. Courses are organized into All Courses, Past Enrollments, Future Enrollments, and Groups. Some courses may appear as blue links and can be opened from this page. Others will just appear as black text depending on the term dates and publication settings chosen by individual instructors. Set courses as favorites by clicking the star to the left of the course. When the star is filled in orange, your course will appear on the dashboard. When the star is just an unfilled outline, the course will not appear on the dashboard. After selecting your favorites, navigate back to the dashboard by clicking the link in Global Navigation. Up to four icons will be displayed at the bottom of each course card. They represent announcements, assignments, discussions, and files. These icons will appear in a different order or may not be visible at all based on how your instructor has organized the course navigation menu. For example, if an instructor hides the announcements link on the course navigation menu, the announcements icon, which looks like a megaphone, will not display on the course card at all. A number will appear in red on top of the visible icons to indicate the number of new items published in that area of the course. For example, the number one on top of the discussion icon on this course means there is one new discussion available in the course that you haven't accessed yet. To view the new discussion, just click on the icon to jump directly to that content in the course. You can organize your dashboard courses by opening the settings menu represented by three vertical dots. 
Course card settings allow you to control the order in which they appear on the page, adding a nickname or changing the color. The calendar will use the same color you choose for your course cards to shade events and due dates for the course as well. The dashboard offers two views depending on your preference. The dashboard defaults to the course card view, but switching to the list view will summarize announcements, quizzes, discussions, and assignments by day. To change your dashboard view, open the options menu, the button with three vertical dots, and select your preferred viewing option. The sidebar on the right side of the dashboard shows action items in all your courses. Each item is associated with a specific course. All items from all your active courses display in the sidebar, not just favorited courses in the dashboard. For course identification, each sidebar item displays the course code or short name for the course. The to-do section shows up to seven items with due dates or event dates in the upcoming weeks, including ungraded quizzes and assignments that do not require a Canvas submission. Each item in the to-do list displays the assignment name, the course name, the number of points, and the due date for the assignment. Once the due date has passed, items remain in the section for four weeks. The Show All link under the to-do section will take you to the list view of your dashboard. Here, you will be able to see a day-by-day -day look at what assignments are coming up. Once again, you can switch back to Card View by clicking the three dots in the upper right corner. The Recent Feedback section shows assignments with feedback from your instructor during the last four weeks. Control your account settings, profile, and notifications. Access your user account options by clicking on the account link on the global navigation menu. From the account menu, click on Settings. The Settings page allows you to select personal pronouns. The default setting for pronouns is none. To change this, click Edit Settings, then use the drop-down menu to select pronouns. Click Update Settings when you're finished. The Settings page also allows you to add contact methods to your account. Canvas contact methods allow you to select how you want to be notified when various events occur within a course. To access contact methods, click on Account, followed by Settings. By default, your TW email account will be set up in Canvas to receive notifications. To add email, click the Add Email Address link. Type in the email address you want to add in the text field. When you are finished, click Register Email. You will need to confirm registration for any new contact methods you add before you'll receive notifications there, even if you have preferences selected for them already. After adding any additional contact methods you choose, review and update your notification preferences. Start from Global Navigation and click the Account link, then click the Notifications link. Notifications set at the account level are applied to all courses. You can also set notifications in individual courses in the course homepage. Canvas sets certain notifications by default, but you have full control over them and can change preferences at any time. You can change your notification preferences by contact method type, including email address and push notifications. To change a notification for a contact method, locate the notification and click the icon for your preferred delivery type. To receive a notification right away, click the checkmark icon. These notifications are delayed by one hour in case an instructor makes additional changes, which prevents you from being spammed by multiple notifications in a short amount of time. To receive a daily notification, click the clock icon. To receive a weekly notification, click the calendar icon. The date and time of your weekly notifications are posted at the bottom of the notifications page. If you do not want to receive a notification, click the Remove icon. To set notifications for a single course, click the Courses link, then click the name of the course. In the Course Homepage sidebar, click the View Course Notifications button. Toggle the green button to enable notifications for your course. Then set your preferences. To view your Canvas profile, click on Account in Global Navigation and choose Profile. Personalize your Canvas user account further by adding a picture and biography to your profile. Your profile information can be viewed by all users in your courses. The picture you use will appear next to your discussion posts in your courses and private messages exchanged in the Canvas inbox, which we'll look at next. Email using the Canvas inbox. You can communicate directly with your instructors and classmates from the Canvas inbox, which is also called Conversations. In Global Navigation, click the Inbox link. 
Just like you saw on the course cards on the dashboard, a red number on top of the inbox icon indicates the number of unread messages you have in your inbox. Once you read any new messages, the indicator will automatically disappear. Conversations is split into two panels. The panel on the left lists conversations chronologically. New or unread messages are displayed with a maroon dot. The number in the black square tells you how many individual messages have been exchanged in each conversation. The toolbar in the top left includes global message options. You can view and filter conversations by course or message type. Filtering by course allows you to view all conversations from all courses or to view conversations from a single course. Filtering by type lets you view all messages in your inbox or filter the messages in the categories of unread, starred, sent, archive, or submission comments. You can also search for conversations by user in the search by user field. Just start typing a name to automatically search the directory. Click on any conversation to load it in the viewing panel on the right side. Once you have selected a conversation, you can use the other options in the toolbar to reply to a conversation, reply all to a conversation, archive a conversation, delete a conversation, forward, mark a conversation as read or unread, and star a conversation. You can start a new conversation at any time using the Compose button to send a new message. The Compose button is represented by a pencil icon. To send a message, you'll first need to identify the course your recipient is part of. Then, open the course directory and choose who you want to send the message to. Add your subject and compose your message. You can attach files if needed. Conversations does not have any file size limit. However, attachments you add to a message will be stored in your personal files area under the user account menu. How to get help. If you have any questions on the topics covered here or others, please search the Canvas guides. Click on Help on the Global Navigation menu. Click the link that reads Search the Canvas Guides. Click on Canvas Guides. From the search bar, you can enter a question. For example, how do I reply to a discussion as a student? And press Enter. To submit a service desk ticket, contact the TWU service desk. Click on Help in Global Navigation. Click on the IT Solutions link. The ways to contact the service desk are listed on the left side of the page. To submit a service desk ticket, click on Request Support. There are several more online resources available for your academic success on the Center for Design, Development, and Delivery website. I recommend reviewing the Guide to Online Learning. To find it, navigate to the TWU website. In the browser's address bar, type twu.edu. Click on Academics, then click on My Courses. Finally, click on Guide to Online Learning on the left side of the page. On the Guide to Online Learning webpage, there is information for Canvas, technology, academic success resources, student resources, and frequently asked questions. Thank you for watching Getting Started with Canvas, and welcome to TWU. I wish you a wonderful and successful semester.